This is your Daily Dose with Dr. D. Here's Dr. Daniela Schreier. Hi there and welcome back. I'm Dr. Daniela and you're here to get your Daily Dose. News continued. Bipolar 2 diagnosis of uh, Jesse Jackson Jr., the Illinois Congressman. Number one, the Illinois Congressman is an American statistics. Approximately 5.5 million Americans suffer from bipolar disorder. Bipolar disorder is also very treatable, especially bipolar 2. It responds very well to medication um, and also psychotherapy, both of the treatments combined. And so we can be very hopeful that uh, Jesse Jackson Jr. will return to office pretty soon. Other uh, politicians like Patrick Kennedy, etc., had been diagnosed with the same um, disorder. Number two, it's very important that media tried to link actually bipolar 2 disorder to a um, weight loss surgery that the congressman obtained in 2004. There's really no reports out there or statistics that one would be linked to the other. Certainly he obtained a psychiatric or psychological screening and assessment, very detailed ones, before he underwent uh, that surgery. It's normal and very necessary because we want to assess the mental state of an uh, individual and also if he can take the lifestyle changes coming with such an operation. Now remember, if you had any type of operation at any time in your lifetime, Afterwards, it's very normative that you feel a little anxious or also a little depressed because you might still deal with the pain. Um, you might not know how long it takes for you to be pain free and to adapt to the new lifestyle. So that's very normal or normative. What we however discussed this morning on WLS 890 AM with Bruce and Dan is that there were other stressors in the congressman's life. Over the past couple of years, please go back. We had the Blagojevich scandal whereby the congressman had never been involved, but he was constantly investigated. Recently, he has the ethics committee questioning him. One of his uh, confidants, uh, Nayak, was recently arrested, not based on political charges, but there was enough distress going on in the political career of the, um, sorry, the congressman, basically to elect potentially an episode, a depressive episode or a hypomanic episode, so we don't have to go so far back. It's very important that we are not resistant against the distress that's going on in our life, personally and professionally. So the, the congressman is not an outstanding um, example that can happen to many of us. So thanks so much for being here with me today. I'm Dr. Daniela, and this was your Daily Dose. Bye-bye. This has been your Daily Dose with Dr. D. For more, go to drdaniela.com. That's drdaniela.com.